Women FC TV with Adam Hinch, we're looking ahead to Braintree in the National League South. And then we're off the back of a difficult result on Tuesday night, but that was after a really good run of form. So how are you feeling going into this Saturday? No, yeah, exactly that. It was um, in, in the main like reflection and watching the game back, I thought there was some really good stuff, some really good patterns, and we created some good chances. Um, just didn't take them on the night. And, you know, the difference between the two teams, I think, um, you know, they was really ruthless when they had opportunities. And... Um, they defended their box, um, you know, with, with a lot of passion, and, and we didn't quite show that same determination. And you know, that was a difference. So, you know, loads for us to to, to look at. Um, you know, we've definitely got to show more determination in our defending to keep the ball out. Um, you know, the first goal in a game like that's big, and um, we've got lots of bodies back there, and the lads gone through about three or four of us with out on a challenge uh, being made so and they was you know throwing their cells in, in front of stuff and you know like I say a big big difference between the two teams but um, no like I say full credit to Welling um, thoroughly deserved the win um, don't know if it got it took a bit out of context me saying they were lucky they definitely weren't lucky it was just a case of um, lucky that on that night we didn't take our chances that we have been taking um, that was the um, where I was trying to go with that but um, you know it's uh, it is it is what it is and like I say hoping that we learn from it it's a bit of a setback hopefully and we can we can put it right Saturday and that's uh, got to be our challenge yeah and tough opponent in Braintree here we've we've had a lot of run-ins with in the last couple of years obviously earlier in the season was a difficult afternoon up there but the team's really different compared to the one that lined up no, it is. Yeah, we've um, we play a different style slightly um, in possession, um, you know, as well. Um, made a little tweak mid-season um, with that, so I think that sort of helped us as well. Um, so yeah, definitely a different team. Um, but I've got to say, they're, they're, just, they're a tough side to, to play against. Um, you know, be very similar to Welling. They'll run. They'll defend with determination and you know, we've got to be patient, uh, a bit more patience and you know, not trying to ram balls down one side of the pitch but looking for switches of play and, and keeping patient with, with our play and, and believe in what we're doing. Um, you know, that'd be the, the key messages to, to the players tonight to you know believe in, in how we play and, and, and what we do and, and try and stick to it for, for longer longer parts of the game. And it should be a little bit easier being at home, big crowd behind us hopefully and on obviously our, our home turf as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, there's there's no excuses. Um, from my point of view, I thought we played some good football on on grass pitches down at Truro. I thought it was excellent, and that was probably one of the worst uh, pitches we played on all season. Um, so you know, there's, there's no excuses there. Wellington's pitch was 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 absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, he, the next day he'd come here and take the the academy team and and see this pitch and. You know, you think, oh, it would have been nice to have played on that last night. But, you know, like I said, there's no excuses from that side of it at all. But, um, yeah, it'd be nice to, to get back home and, and on our surface with our fans behind us. And, uh, yeah, we really need to, to have a response from, from Tuesday. Looking at the squad available, uh, Tommy Willard has got an injury at the moment. Uh, and there's obviously going to be suspensions for a couple of the boys. Talk us through the team news. No, yeah, Tommy, um, we thought it was going to be six weeks with his hamstring, but um, he's had scans and he's been back at Aldershot. They seem quite happy with the progress that's been made um, in the last week or so. So probably looking more two to four weeks um, for Tommy. So that's a good bit of news that we have back there. Uh, Rocco's um, got a bit of a, I don't know if it's broke his finger or dislocation or whatever, but he's, yeah, he's going to be out for a bit with that. Um, and then, yeah, the, the lad should be back. Nicky Wheeler is the other one, uh, come back from injury. Hoping to see him back in training next week. So, um, you know, with the big fixture list the, the following week, where we go to Chelsea on the Monday night, it's, uh, um, should have Nicky Wheeler back for that as well. So he's not too far away, just up in his uh, recovery and his um, his progression and back into training um, in the next few few uh, sessions. So that'd be good. Um, yeah, and then obviously suspended is Joel Colbran and, and Ruben for Saturday. So yeah, it's an um, opportunity for players. Um, Joe Rye will be back from his dead leg. So, um, you know, opportunity for, for players to, to show what they're all about. And that's why we've got the squad we have. And, you know, I've said to all the players, um, everyone's going to be needed over the next few weeks. So stay ready and be ready to take your opportunity. And that's what's going to happen Saturday. Who do you reckon could be involved on Saturday in their places? Um, yeah, we've obviously got Joe Ryan, we've got Kane that can play left back, um, we've got Tati that can play left back, so we've got you know more than enough defenders there. Um, 
Look, Kane that can maybe move into the centre of the park if needed. We've got Greg back now. He'll be available for minutes. Oli Starkey. Um, Brad thought done well when he came on. Um, we've got Jake Robinson, we've got Ollie, we've got Cash. So, you know, we've still got more than enough um, players available. Um, it's not all doom and gloom. So, yeah, we still won't be no excuses. Uh, we've got a couple of injuries and a couple of suspensions, but everyone's going to have that at this stage of the season. Um, we're not going to make any excuses. We're not going to make excuses about pitches, about suspensions and injuries. We're going to we're going to deal with it. Um, face it head on and, and try and give a good account of ourselves. I mentioned Brad Dolligan there, um, came on on Tuesday for his first league appearance of the season. Yeah, I think he really impressed considering the circumstances. What do you see for him going going forward? No, yeah, I said to Brad uh, probably two weeks ago that you know, I, I see his progression has been excellent um, and he's going scoring goals for Littlehampton. I think that's helped him out massively, that little stint there. Um, but, you know, I said between now and the end of the season, there'll be, there'll be starts and there'll be minutes from the bench and, and stuff like that. Um, we've got 12 games to go and, I, you know, still see that being the case for him. Um, we've really got high hopes for Brad uh, at this club. Young lads uh, with a lot of, lot of potential. He scores a lot, a lot of goals at youth level. He started to score at men's football at Littlehampton now, so we're hoping, you know, he can, uh, you know, start to re reproduce that in, in the first team uh, for us as well.